Hi, everybody, and welcome back to your third French horn lesson. Now, in the last lesson, we talked about buzzing and tonguing. So really quickly, we're going to pull out our mouthpiece, hold it by the bottom of the shank. And remember, we have firm corners, a firm chin, and relaxed lips. We're going to just blow some air through our mouthpiece to start. Try it with me. Cool. When I go like this, make sure we take a nice full breath and we're filling our lungs without moving up our shoulders. Our belly button comes out. Let's try that again. Cool. Make sure you're shooting that far away from you. One more time. Cool. Now we're going to make a buzz with our instrument. Still no tonguing, just a buzz and air through our mouthpiece. Ooh. Try that again. Ooh. Send your sound far away. Ooh. Cool. Let's see if we can get a buzz with our tongue right when we start. Ooh. One more time. And one more time thinking, breathe two. Breathe. Cool. I want to play a little game real quick. It's called I play, you play. I'm going to play you something on my mouthpiece and I'm going to tongue some of the notes, all of the notes. I'm going to tongue all of the notes. I'm going to play you something on my mouthpiece and we are going to tongue all of the notes. And I'm going to play some rhythms and then you're going to repeat what I just played. Here we go. I'll do this. And when you see my hand go like this, it's your turn to play. Five, six, seven. Nice job. I'll talk about what kind of notes we just played in a little bit, but for right now, we are going to learn how to play on the full French horn. Very exciting. First note we are play, we are going to play is called a G. It is a nice middle note and it's around a whole bunch of other notes we're gonna learn soon. So see if you can say two into your mouthpiece with a buzz and play the same note I'm about to play. Try that with me. One more time on a G. If you can't get it, that's okay. Keep trying. And I'm sorry, we're going to do that one more time. Make sure you have no fingers on your valves. Nothing is touching your valves. It's just open and a nice buzz. Oh, I played an E. Can you edit that out? One more time and a nice buzz. Awesome. Horn has a lot of notes on it that you can play with open. So I'm gonna just troubleshoot real quick and make sure you're not playing a C or an E, which are also open. So this is what a C sounds like. Oop, this is what a C sounds like. Even I make mistakes sometimes. If you're getting a C out, you're going to want to speed up your air. So try going like this, just a little faster. And it also kind of helps to think higher. So make sure you're going to play this note and you might just get it out. Nice fast air. The other one you might be playing is called an E. This is what an E sounds like. 
Again, just faster air so you get that G. Nice, and you're saying two, two on that G. It also helps if you hum it or you sing it, but if you're embarrassed to hum or sing, that's okay too. Cool. I wanna play the game that we just played on our mouthpiece, but this time I wanna play on the horn. So remember that game where I play something and then you play something. Also, real quick review while we're holding our horn. Make sure we have our fingers on the valves, our pinky under the ring, and our hand position. I know you probably let go of your hand position. We go to shake someone's hand, we put it in there, we put it away from us. It's on the top of the instrument, pushing away from us, not over here, not over here, just up here. Cool, and if you're on a leg, that's fine, and if you're off the leg, that's fine. Well, let's, <laughs> let's play that call and response game that we have played on our math pieces together. Be sure we're breathing. Your turn. Some of the notes were a bit longer than others and it wasn't just random i had rhythms in my head so the first rhythms that we play are two beats long so two of the pats on my stomachs ta, ta. those are called woo, <laughs> those are called half notes so half notes are worth two beats and they look like a donut on a stick the other beats that we played that were a bit shorter than that are called quarter notes. So quarter notes are one beats and they look like a circle with a line. This one's filled in, this one is not. Now again, there's another longer note than a half note and those are called whole notes. So a whole note gets four beats, four taps on the chest, and it looks like a donut without a stick. I know they all look kind of similar, but I promise eventually this and this will become the same thing. So we have, just a review, quarter, half, whole. I'm going to go ahead and play those for you, just so you know what those are. Here's a quarter note. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So again, those quarter notes only come on beat one or beat five if you're counting it like I am. And then let's play half notes. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Four, three, four. Three, four. Now if a half note gets two, a whole note will get four. So all four of those beats are going to be whole notes and the only thing separating them is my tongue. Let's do that really quickly. see if I can play a note and then you can tell me what note it is. Obviously I won't be able to hear you because this is a YouTube video but I'll give you a second and see if you can figure it out. Let me know what note this is. Five, six, seven, eight. Was that a half note? Yes it was. I'm going to put on what's called a metronome just to make it a little bit easier. I just put on what's called a metronome which is that that clicking that you hear in the background. And I'm going to play a couple notes for you and I wanna see if you can guess what the notes are without me telling. So you'll hear five, six, seven, eight. 
play. And then I'll play and I want you to see if you can count how long my note is and then tell me if it's a quarter, half, or whole. Five, six, seven, eight. If you guessed half note, that is correct. Let's see what this one is. Those would be quarter notes. Good job. Here comes the last one. Those are whole notes. There is one more type of note that we're going to talk about today really quickly while we're still staying on G and it is called an eighth note. Now, if you guys know fractions, which you may or may not know, they're a little difficult. We're going to do half of a quarter note to get an eighth note. Now an eighth note is going to look like this. It has, whoop, oh my God. It has a little stem that the rest of them don't have. So it has this little, dangly bit on the end of it that the rest of these notes don't have. That's what makes it look like an eighth note. You might also see eighth notes that look like this, where there's two of them together and they will be connected. And so an eighth note is going to get half of one, which is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 of a note. Now that we have practiced our call and response together on the full horn, I would like to review just air support and breathing because it takes a lot of air to get all the way through all these tubes and out the other side. So really quickly, we're just going to do some breathing exercises. This one I called metered breathing. And so you're going to have your hand up like this. And when you breathe in, it's going to suck. And then when you breathe out, it flips around so you can hear, you can feel your air coming against your hand. So really quickly, we're going to breathe in for four, and then we're going to breathe out for four and switch our hand when we switch which direction we're breathing. Here's our metronome again. really fun one to do on your own and practice. It just makes you feel nice and open. Now, I also want to point out if you're breathing in, your stomach should be going out because you're taking in air like a big balloon and it's inflating. And when you let go of your air, when you exhale, it shrinks and your stomach goes down. A lot of people tend to do it the other way around, but for instruments, we need to breathe correctly. And yeah, that's the end of my lesson on playing your first notes on the horn. I'm sure you guys sound great. Bye.